Hi, it's my time to shine. I'm going to spray for you and spray for me because I don't have no candles lit. Um, I've been doing in between, keep that shit real, but I'm kind of working behind the scenes right now. I have like um, loyal customers and like consistent customers that need me for certain things. So like I'm doing what I need to do. Um, plus money no sleep, like I keep telling people, but I don't want to be bothered with anything else. Um, that's pulling on my energy. So I may do a re-in here and there, like, until I get my full energy back, which hopefully by this weekend, um, I'm cleansed. And then I could go back to back like I do. But I needed these three days off um, to focus on other things and try to organize things, which it's like you can't really organize nothing because you don't really know what the next day holds. So it's like you just got to really go on whatever when you wake up whatever comes whatever gets thrown your way bottom line that's it that's all i sit here um i can't really make no plans um i do have my tip my air ticket and my hotel stay with like you pay extra money in case emergency come up so i do have to 12 o'clock that day i suppose to leave to cancel without being charged all these fees so that's a good thing um even if i don't go to hawaii right now i am going to be leaving for a three four day vacation somewhere um even if it's to a shore or to a suite i'm out i'm not going to be here that weekend of the 25th period no matter what um, I may not can go that far. I really don't know right now until I see how this shit is rolling. Because I might not can leave for 10 days. And I might be don't got to deal with family issues. And I'm all the way all the 16 hours. It took me 16 hours to get back. And that's just a lot going on. So, um, I might got to hold off that trip. Maybe to like August. But right now, um, what I am doing is going to maintain my balance. And I still want to just stay to myself by the line. So, I'm waiting for my soul food, so I'm not doing many readings. I just was guided to these cards. I'm using one deck, and I'm just going on what it says here, like nothing more, nothing less. The card that came out is the Knight of Cups. We all know the Knight of Cups represent people or somebody that can be a trusted. Somebody want to offer you some type of emotion or love, but they just not to be trusted. Like, bottom line, uh, it could be a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces energy. And with the Five of Wands, you're coming up out of conflict um, and competition with people. It could be uh, a Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. It's just your present energy. You're just not for it is what I'm seeing here. Um, somebody don't know how to just turn their back on the situation and move forward with their emotions attacked. Somebody is upset right now um, because um, they can't move forward um, out of a situation or just turn their back on a situation. So somebody emotionally is upset about something. You could be dealing with the Aries or you could be dealing with somebody um, that's a baby boss energy. If not a baby boss energy, um, you could be dealing with a lawyer. You could be dealing with a judge. You could be dealing with something. The judgment is going to be a judgment in your favor for a situation here. So we want to see what's going on. Um, you may don't trust that person because you know that person is drama here. That's what I'm seeing here. That's how I be looking at it. Yeah, with the Knight of Swords, you, you cut people off in the past. You cut people off like this Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, somebody's coming towards you fast. It could be a text message, emails about some type of situation, your present energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Tower. Something was built on a faulty foundation that's going to come tumbling down in the near future. It may already came for me. It did. Sagittarius energy here. You may be at a crossroads or you may be um, at a blind spot. You don't know which way to go. I can resonate with that, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But in the past, you had all happiness. Everything was together. Your emotions were together here. Um, there's no new beginning in some type of situation um, from the divine. Like, you don't supposed to start a new beginning in some type of situation in your life. You could be dealing with a um, with a Tars, or you could be dealing with somebody um, mean, nasty, and boastful. think they know everything, and maybe a tower moment came in their life. Take what resonate. But whatever goes on, you close out a cycle in this situation here. Like, you was done with this situation. So, eventually, you close out the cycle, and you came up out of a third party, or if not out of... Um, dealing with three people you maybe came up you may came up out of a celebration with three people you just start seeing stuff with for what it is um right here somebody pentacles is literally coming slow as well i want to see what's the overall energy here because i just see somebody took a while for somebody to really turn their back on the situation but when they did it they closed up this cycle but it took a little while because like i said somebody 
came and wanted to offer you something, but they was fault. They was fraudy as hell. But the death card reverse, yeah, you wouldn't budge, or somebody wouldn't budge. Was the overall energy, yeah. What I'm seeing here, stay to yourself, keep your money to yourself, and keep your business to yourself. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, yeah. Somebody right now can't work, um, um, or somebody right now can't build their money up. Is the overall energy as well? But yeah, stay to yourself, keep your business to yourself. And stay to yourself after you overcame this right here. Yeah, you might as well. Bottom line is the energy here. Peace, I and blessings. I wish all the best. I reverse any negative energy, any gossip back to the other person like my last video. Um, as I'm clearing my energy day by day because I'm doing different things, which I'm about to do the big thing in a minute. But the thing that came on is um, girly time popped on again for the second time. But that's because of the stress situation. So I can't do the main part until like this wear off a little bit. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. Nature comes when it comes. It could come four times if it want. But uh, a month. But um, yeah, just always stay balanced, stay positive. Um, do what you can do. Never do too much like I, I'm doing. Am I doing too much? I'm not going to strain my energy. I have a lot of people hit me in my email or they want like personal reads. But right now, I'm not doing none of them because I got to put my energy into that. Um, I am doing certain situations, but them situations is money that people's paying for certain stuff. So I'm going to do that, but it's not nothing to do with readings. Readers that's appointments lined up, I don't have to rush to them. My clients that I deal with know what's going on, so they understand. They're booked up, and I'll do it as I as I may. Um, money manifestation is on the board for Thursday and Saturday. That's something that's just will always be for others. And also I do it for myself and certain other people. That's just, that's normal. Like some people pay up for a month for that. So that's just what get done. And that's a whole separate read. Um, so bottom line, that's just what I'm doing. Anything else I'm really just not doing. Um, I may do reads. Yeah. But taking on others energy right now, I'm going to be at a standstill with that. So I feel like that my energy is able to do all of that. And right now it's definitely not doing all of that. So I hope everybody have a great, you know, rest of the week.